So, new project time, guys. Ghost Hamburger. It's time to embark on one of the more ambitious end league projects that we've ever done. It's Soul Eater, Soul Stacking on a character. We are gonna actually go into a map and kill monsters during this project. We're gonna build like five characters, a lot of characters, supports, prepar preparation characters, and a Soul Eater character that's self-cursing with temp chains with an 11 minute flask and a soul thirst belt and we're gonna steal many many souls we're gonna create an extremely juicy map with as many monsters as possible and try to steal all of those souls so that's the that's the meme we're gonna spend the next week crafting and buying and spending all the currency a lot of currency and try to put this together 11 minute flask oh yeah that was a Slight spoiler, don't worry about it. It's also a project to try to get the longest flask, but yes, it, it will also include a very long flask. <laughs> Let's do the easy stuff first. We're gonna buy a bunch of cheap uniques that we need for the Soul Eater character, first of all. So there's gonna be like Soul Eater character, Curse Support, Aura Support, Mana Guardian, Carry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nice. Destruction. Anyway, let's start crafting. Let's go. Mm hmm. Cool. We need life on hit and life. That's it. And an open prefix. Yeah. Yeah. For the for the mana cost craft. Let's go. It's 1 in 47 to hit both with a decent roll. Yo, this is the only suffix with life on hit. So we could just technically exalt slam T1 life. We I did, mean, we did why not, not do that. Alright, keep going. Oh, there it is. With an open suffix too. That's insane. You said those suffixes again. Oh, open prefix. Yes, it also has open suffix, not that it matters. Okay, that's what we want. Yes, that's what we Hell want. Hell yeah. And we can craft the mana cost on this. I can't get higher than 65 life. There we go, 69, 19 life on hit. Rings are done for the tanky character, the tanky preparation character. Big life, big life on hit, percent life base, some res, chaos on one, fire on the other, and then the double mana cost craft. Let's go. Okay guys, next craft. Chaos Gloves for the tanky character, plus one max Chaos Res. We need T1 Spell Suppression with Chaos Res Essences. I haven't seen any Spell Suppression yet. Holy yeah, shit. that's rare. Oh, oh, oh. That's T2 Spell Suppression. Ah. What is the wait? What, it's what Seventeen is the to nineteen. Mm, is nineteen I enough? I think it might be enough. Let me check. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Suffix cannot be changed. Veiled chaos. Let's but try then that. it's gonna be less life. That's the, that's the thing. Okay. Don't care. Don't have to go TFT. Great. Let's go. Excellent. Excellent. June, helicopter, unveil helicopter. this for me, please. Plus two AOE. So I craft life and slam it. Yeah, you block life and try to slam hybrid. Or you try to get lucky and slam it okay. to the flat. I do like slamming. Here we go. We got flat lightning damage. T1. Poggers. Okay. Wow. So we craft life and gloves are done. GG. There we go. Okay. Tanky boy gloves are done. Alright, chat. New quest. I need to buy a unique ruby ring. Whoever messages me first with a unique ruby ring, I will buy it for 1x. Nagama who's sign. Let's go, droops. 
Thank you, sir. Now. We do some magic, guys. Have you ever seen a star being born? You're about to witness the greatness. Level 20 Corrupted Lightning Warp. Unique Ruby Ring. Onyx Amulet. Star of Ray class. And it's rolled high RS too. We have just got our Curse Amulet. Very cool. Let's build, uh, build that character next. Hmm. It's decently divine. We can wall it for something. You know what? Let's wall this. Okay, now we got CB on the curse support. There we go. Plus one max fire res. Now we do exceptional blue. Now we now we no no or... just do a shit blue. Oh shit, shit blue. blue? Really? Yeah. And then we elevate. Oh okay. We elevate now. And conflict? Until hit... Yeah, yeah, until Oh it's removed the... that. Okay, we go again. Okay, the fire res is down to lesser now. Oh my god. Okay, greater. Grand, greater, grand, greater, lesser. It's gone. The fire is gone, guys. We go, go again. again. Okay, we got exceptional on the fire as finally. So now, if it's 50-50, it's we exceptional it. And, oh, we got it. Yes, plus two fire. Okay, nice. Now we spam exceptional blues until... Uh, until we got this uh, cooldown recovery, yeah. General's Cry CDR, what the fuck? We're out. Uh-oh. Quick refill, guys. Some presents shit. Oh, got it. Nice. 26%. Let's bless it up to 26. Very cool. Oh, nice boots. All right, tanky, tanky character's boots are ready. Nice progress today. We made a lot of progress just on day one. All, we got all the skeletons of the build, all the uniques out of the way. Thank you. Dude, I am unhinged. Grants level 20 unhinge. It's been... 1,600 fusings so far. Hello? It's 3,000 almost. 100 more, and it's 3,000. Yeah? Holy sh- Okay. We keep going. Maybe I can make the- Oh, there we go. Okay, we linked it. In four more. <laughs> 3,204. Okay. This time. For, for some orbing. For some morbing. We want 100% increased duration. And nothing else. 99%. 22.7. Maybe that's enough. I don't know if we can get to a higher number. 100%. We can. 22.8 second flask. That's pretty good. Okay. We have the flask for the soul eater build. The important one. Oh, we got the good shrine. Look. Let's go. Oh, implicit. Three of them. Abyss, timeless, energy shield recharge rate, nope, cluster, yes, we got one, flask effect duration, oh my god, after 50 tries, we got one, we need like 9 more, <laughs> okay guys, we have arrived at the first stage of testing, I am repurposing my leak starter curse support to a tanky as AF, which character? Max block, max res, max everything. 
cannot do damage. This character is going to enter the map, prepare everything. Open all league mechanics, step on all the eggs, pull things together with Vol Cyclone. I don't think we can do cannot regen. Yeah, I'm going to pull here and I think die. Or is it just Executioner? No, it's, ju it's just Executioner. Yeah. Okay, this is fine then. There is a quick trade I have to do, one second. Okay, yeah. 8 FPS. Actually, pretty decent FPS compared to last time. Okay. Uh, Almost done nice. gathering the map. I'm gonna come in with my Wonder after. I have killed three mobs somehow. Interesting. Do I have Reflect or what mechanic? Why are they hitting themselves? Maybe I have Thorns. Yeah, the, the Anvil has Thorns, but still you have the Totem thing that gives you zero uh, damage. What? I mean... No, the Totem doesn't give zero damage. It, it says you can't deal damage with skills yourself. Thorns oh. on gear is not a skill that you do. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I pulled a lot. Uh, FPS is kind of starting to die. So, let's do one more pull here. Uh oh, uh, this is gonna crash. I think. Okay, moving. Oh, oh, here is the 50% mob. Okay, we have the... Yeah. I think I'm gonna log out here, guys, <laughs> and uh, try to get in on another character. 1,280,600. Let's go in. Where is this pool? It's here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's see. Holy shit. 1,281,170. Okay, that's just like 500 mobs. Or no? Okay. Oh, oops, auras. Okay. Oh, we left a lot here. Okay. And here also. Okay, so how about now? Like 1,500 or something? 1,700? Yeah, but tree that's that's no them. yeah that's no tree, no winged scarabs, no breaches, no abysses, no light, no nothing. Okay, what are you testing? Difference between one orb and five orb, mob count. I have two beyond maps of the same X size. Only difference between them is uh, one orb versus five orb. I mean, if I don't get anywhere close, like if I get less than five k here, then we know we're one orbing. That's it's, it's super easy test. But if you get like 7k or something, then we're obviously 5 Yeah, orbing. there's no way. But, yeah. I don't think so. I think it's actually just one orb. But we'll see. Pull everything. The optimum break. This is the moment of truth. I'm typing kills. And that's 5k. We are not 5 orbing. We are 1 orbing. That was a simple, easy, quick test. Okay. So if both maps are 5 mob, 5k mobs ish. Uh, without any like league mechanics or any altars or extra stuff, so we are not five orbing. That is nice. That is that is cut definitely gonna yeah, make the, the carry's life easier. But I mean, we're gonna have way too good gear, so it doesn't really matter. I see some people. <laughs> yeah, I see the abyss mob is deep. <laughs> I need a, I need another pool. We need to get to there. We need to get to that corridor or that corner. Hmm. I need I need another flash charge. It's, I'm not getting flash charges. There's a drought binger here, I think. <laughs> I think they can't fit. I don't think. Hmm. I don't think I can get these up there to the corner. So there's a massive pool here and here. Now I just need to like somehow connect these two. Oh my god! You know what else we could do? What? Kaz, Kaz, Kaz in chat. He's so smart. We need a box that revives monsters when you kill them. We need to oh. force roll a box for that and make the pool next to that box. Oh, oh no. my god, the technology. Oh no. oh no, 
that I shit. think it's just gonna just crash when we click the boss. I don't know if there's a limit on that. <laughs> good idea. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> we can we can chaos idea. spam the box for that. I mean there's a box right mm. there. Do you have chaos? Mm. No, you don't, right? No, I don't. But I mean, I can come back, it's fine. Okay, let's do a test here. I'm gonna hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna TP up here somehow. You Can you roll boxes in uh, in Grace? Time to find out. No, I don't think you can. You can. Oh, no, actually, I wait, it's I locked. Can. I opened this already. Fuck, I can't oh, roll yeah, this. Fuck. Okay, whatever. Oh, yeah. It's fine. We test next map. I'm gonna try to leave this pack behind. Oh, look, there's an essence mob. I can open that and some eggs. Very cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Now let's see if I left anything up here. Oh yeah, there's a fuck ton up here. Oh, this is the first pool. Okay, so the pools are now within a few screens. Okay, the other pool is like up there. Oh my god, we're so close to connecting them. Oh shit. All right, I'm pulling. I think the pools are connected. Oh my god, I'm pulling. Let's go. There is at least oh, yeah, 1,000 yeah, yeah. mobs here. Yeah. At least a the, thousand mobs here. It's I gonna see crash. The green, I see the green circles getting closer together. Uh, yeah, client's crashing. Sound is gone. Alright. I don't think there has been this many monsters on screen on a Path of Exile stream before. So. <laughs> Alright. 1,294,346. Okay. We go. We try to click some shrines. Okay. Oh, we got a good shrine. All right. Here we go. I'm shooting. Oh. Ah. <laughs> it's grinding. Oh my god, the Beyond Rewards instantly jumped to six. <laughs> Look at that. Seven. Yeah, the Delhi the Delhi Rewards went eight. to eight. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Oh my god, we got good shrines too. Holy shit. Okay, let's see. Kills. We just killed how many? Three thousand six hundred mobs. There was there was three thousand mobs here, on the screen, roughly. I killed a few up here and a few after the pool. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> okay, so you can pull around two thousand five hundred monsters together without crashing. Everyone in the group has to have a, yeah. a sentinel. But this this just spawns a set amount of mobs. I think it doesn't matter what kind of sentinel you have or. Duplicate non-unique enemy when they are empowered. 10% chance. Okay, we should use robots. Fuck. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter which ones. It's just any. Any blue yeah, and any red. red. With, any um, red. Well, any red with a lot of empowered monsters. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this map with boxes. Revives nearby dead monsters with onslaught. There we go. Okay, so we're going to make a big pull around this box. We're doing negative monsters treasure. We're packing the monsters back into the box. <laughs> <laughs> this is reverse monsters treasure farming. Let's go. All right, here is the box. This is like a decent amount of monsters, probably four, five hundred or something. Okay, kill everything. Okay. 855. Wow, I was spot on. That was exactly 500 mobs. No, 550. Okay. Okay, and now we click the box. Hmm. <laughs> that did not work. Oh, because you're deleting all the corpses. I am not. I have you're KB. I don't have corpse deletion. Do I? I do have cold damage on one of my rings. Oh, shit. Did I shatter every fucking corpse? Okay. Well, I mean, you're like almost pretty okay. up, so you should yeah. be. Yeah, okay. That was by Do design, I have cold damage way. without this ring? I don't. Okay, we'll just take off this ring, it's fine. Okay, new box. Okay. Leave this here. Okay. I see corpses. Let's see. Oh yeah, that works. 
Oh my god, I didn't do kills because we can't do account, but this was a bad uh, bad pull anyway. Let's do another map. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, now do the strand and try to yeah, do I'll do Yeah, I'll do a huge pull on a, on a strand or something, yeah. Yeah, limit testing now. Now. Ah. Oh, I it just it just already has it. <laughs> I didn't even need to do anything. Okay, come in here, necros. We have everyone in here. There's plenty of space for everyone. Okay, they're dead, and so am I, almost. Okay, loot off. Okay, kills. So we just killed like 320 monsters here. Opening the box. That's not a lot of mobs. Oof. What happened? Hmm. Okay. And then that was 30 mobs. 40 mobs. In the box. Can I not have but a hmm. Ah, oh, there is the Harbinger. Whatever. It's fine. Okay. Kills. Okay, that was 500-ish mobs. Pressing it. Oh I yeah, that revived a lot. Okay. That's revived a hundred mobs? Hmm, there is a cap. There is a cap, for sure. Okay. Huh. Do you need onslaught buff on when opening the box? <laughs> That's Sorry, funny because so because based on the wording it could it could work like that. Revive nearby monsters with onslaught, meaning you only revive the nearby monsters if you have onslaught. But no, that just means it revives them and they have onslaught when when they are revived. That's funny. You need to have onslaught when you activate the buff. The mob okay. needs onslaught. Or only the mobs that have onslaught get revived. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's so many ways to interpret that line. That's what that's what we love about GGG's wording. <laughs> okay, well, GG's Buzgatank, good uh, good testing day. Tomorrow we do GG, more yeah. crafting. Uh, I think we need to get started on some rares for these yeah. builds. But uh, I got some flasks done. I need two more flasks for the main character. Um, we got some implicits. I think that was a productive day. Um, we uh, we pulled three thousand six hundred monsters on the screen. Uh, that's pretty cool. I've never done that before. Uh, and I probably won't again, unless, uh, you know, for fun. But that's a little too much. I don't think most PCs will handle that. Like one in 100 plus to hit the 35 on the Rego. On the distilled. Uh, we got a lot more distilled. Oh! <laughs> As I explain it, I fucking hit it. Let's go. All right, 35 distilled, GG. All right, <sighs> just slam it now. That's the... Okay, why not slam it for some extra juice? Can it break? No, because it's two prefixes. No, no Let's go. We got some Elirez. Cool. Oh, okay, how many do we have? A lot. We have... We 12. 11. Uh, hey, guys. It's it's uh, Empyrean Gaming here. We're sitting in a five-way to level this Scion to level 100. And uh, in the meanwhile, we're working on crafting gear. So we're crafting a curse... Helm for the curse support with dense fossil spamming. Uh, we're looking for high ES. Well, good luck. Yes, we won. Really? Yeah, it's perfect. 36%. Oh my god, awesome. Okay, crafting a curse weapon to make a level 32, 103 quality and feeble so that we don't take any damage in the maps. We'll talk about this later. Don't tell anyone. Probably getting nerfed next patch. Anyway, we need plus one dex and plus one int gems. And then we can force everything else, I think, with the cannot roll, caster, whatever stuff. So it's a one in 11 with faceted, corroded, metallic, aetheric. Fossils. Melee dex plus one, not quite. Let's do like one at a time, I guess. Don't wanna have like leftover from this, I think. Oh, we got it. Dex, strength, int, plus one, plus two melee. Jesus Christ, what is that weapon? <laughs> okay, not yet. <laughs> okay, not yet. We not need to yet. finish the suffixes, right? No, 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 the... no, you need to unload the strength. Oh, 
Okay, well, I don't have an ult, so, well, we wait until the next run, guys. Three minutes, we get to an ult. Uh, okay, so, we need to an ult strength. Done. We're back to crafting this weapon, which should be now entirely deterministic. Suffixes cannot be changed. Scour. Multimod cannot roll attack, slam, and then craft. Okay, so now we have dex and int. Cannot roll attack to block the plus two melee. X. Now we have the plus one. And now multimod. Can have up to three crafted modifiers. And then plus two support. And hopefully we roll 8% uh, quality. We rolled 7% quality. So we go again. Remove crafted modifiers. <laughs> divine. Guys, no. 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 No divine. Can have three crafted modifiers. Plus two support. And 8% craft. Just like that. We need our divines for for more important stuff. We don't want to waste them here. There is a harvest craft that turns a map into a conqueror map. Question is, does that keep the blight implicit? Because if it does, then we have literally infinite tries. So let's find out if it does. Maybe those maps are not worth 1x. They are. They are worth 1x. Rip. Yeah. Doesn't keep the implicit. We learned that these maps are actually farmable and we sent out some contractors. We bought some sextants for some people and they're farming light enchanted conqueror maps for us. Speaking of, Chemgao has one more. We're gonna buy that. So very productive day today, guys. More tomorrow. Exquisite, exceptional. Perfect. There it is. Alright, 20% curse effect done. No more imprints necessary. And now we just exceptional spam for ES for fun. Here we go. Prefixes cannot be changed. Reforge defense. Ah, oh, we got the ES recharge, unfortunately. Oh no, it, it, we got a T5 hybrid. Okay, 707 ES. And we can still divine it. Oh, pretty good. Not bad. That's a prefix. That's that. Let's go. Yes. Slammable. Oh. Yes. Okay. Got another Tem Chains one. Two of those With now. 35? Yep. Ah, uh, it's T3 plus the hybrid. You see the hybrid is uh, huge. Yeah, hybrid is pretty big. T2 plus hybrid is a lot. Oh, T1, no hybrid. Fuck. It has T3 int too. God damn, that was close. Maybe slam slam. hybrid. Yeah. Let's do it. Alright, we slam again. Come on. I slammed movement speed. A little <laughs> slam? Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. Slammable again. Okay. Life. Okay. And all. Saved again. I annulled the life. I T2 life slam. And all again. I removed something. A prefix. It's slammable again. We got the mana. Yes. GG. Oh my god. I, this I is crafting. Here. Path this of Exile crafting. Craft. <laughs> okay. T3 int. T1 mana. T1 hybrid mana. Let's fucking go. Oh. Okay. T2 and T1 hybrid. Nice. With open suffixes for days. T4 hybrid. No. Go again. Oh, T2 hybrid with open suffix for intcraft. Beautiful. Thank you. Hey guys, it's me. 
Flying and Power Buyer, 243x gem. That's pretty cool. New amulet for the Solito character. We move the Solstice Vigil Aura to the carry because it actually only procs if this person gets the kill. So we put that on the carry and we're gonna stand in the aura of the Shaper's presence. And that means we gain an amulet slot so we can get a fuck ton more flask effect duration. That means we're quad anointing this Strangle Grasp with four nodes, Mental Rapidity, Heart of Thunder, Breath of Lightning, and Instability. Beautiful. Now if you put this on, we have these four nodes. We're gonna put a Timeless Jewel here and convert all of these four nodes to 20% Flask Effect duration each. That is a nice amulet. So, <clears throat> testing time, guys. <laughs> Do totems have souls? They don't. Spoiler alert, they don't, but we'll test it anyway. Put on the soul belt, press a flask, put on the mage blood, kill the totem. We don't have a soul eater stack. GG. Totems don't have souls. Confirmed. Thanks for coming to my TED talk.